gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick. But when it actually matters, when you should lay down like a good fucking dog, you don't fucking do it. Yeah, like most of my friends struggle to actually understand what I'm saying. Um, but that's why I'm a professional and you're all not. I'm a bizer. I'm Alex. I'm Alex. Whatever you want to call him. The guy from E-Boys, the group consisting of me, Mila, Swilini, that one guy who makes music sometimes, and I'm Alex. He's under fire right now. He's a commentary channel who is known for being against a lot of things. He's really, he's really like leaning on you're not allowed to say slurs and all that stuff. But he's been shown to be an abuser, emotional abuser, and physical abuser a racist and he just loves saying slurs also an ableist he loves using the n-word and the r slur this whole situation is so insane and i can't wait to tell you guys about it but first time for the sub goal last video i said if i hit 700 subscribers before the end of june i'll do whatever the top comment says you guys did it in one day so if we can hit 800 subscribers before the end of june i'll do whatever the top comment says again all right sub goal let's see what it is coffee or mcyt youtuber easy <laughs> you wanted me to fucking cosplay a Minecraft YouTuber. I'll be right back. <laughs> Man, it doesn't matter. Oh my god. Um, hey. <laughs> Give me to 800 subscribers and I'll do whatever the top comment says. Make it normal next time. I'm not trying to dress up as Dream again. See a statement from Alice, the girl who got a by alex and i really gotta sneeze right now this is a sensitive subject for me as i have struggled to figure out how to put this into words i've been threatened by alex to not come out with anything at all and to keep it quiet or he will create a contradicting story to discredit my own i'm not scared anymore no matter what is said in response to the statement of noah said my piece and can move on with my life i've made this document as a compilation of my experiences whilst being with alex and put screenshots of these accounts under the corresponding paragraphs this will be a long one as i want to start from the beginning so you can understand the full story and heavy burden this has been on me we had known each other for years before we interacted and we're seeing each other for a few months before anything was official we started officially dating on march 17 2023 giving each other 100 of our attention no with no arguments after that time passed and small things became huge issues which were over discord at first the thing about you and this is a thing and this is why i fucking go round and round in circles i joined cool and when i'm getting you're talking to me going this is the thing even though now now when it's too fucking late you admit that you did everything fucking wrong alex felt that because i'm home all day and i work from home that i would be available to call 24 7 and completely shut out any other social interactions i have with my friends to avoid that i invited him into my groups and stopped working as much these small arguments worsened to the point where he would turn on his camera and start shouting at me on call I need a fucking fix I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick. He's gone as far to tell me to self-harm at this point after I told him about my history prior. This would be accompanied with multiple horrible messages calling me a whore, a bitch, and slimy. He would also tell me that I caused arguments as an excuse to leave him, saying, I don't know how I ended up with someone like you. And that's Alice that said that. I don't know how I ended up with someone like you because Alex was emotionally abusing her. Now, Alex hasn't come out with a statement yet. If something comes out from Alex while um, editing I'll of course put in the video but right now all we have is alice's story and a few statements from his friends now we're gonna read the statements from his friends miax mon this is something i have been aware of since may last year and is something in my opinion is well known throughout the industry i can't speak for people who aren't in our group or who i don't see regularly but the openness at which this was discussed amongst people last year i generally find it hard to believe that creators close to alex had no idea what was going on when i found out alex and i were signed to the same talent agency i immediately made them aware of the accusations and put pressure on them to drop him which they did this was june 2023 from the documents in the drive it looks like things escalated even further from what i was aware of emotional abuse threats of violence use of racial slurs which is so heartbreaking i don't know alice personally but sending her so much love and support and then from willany a former member of the e-boys or e-boys firstly i really hope alice is doing well and commend her massively for the, having the courage to get out there as mia mentioned there were rumors of his behavior earlier last year myself and a few others 
haven't had contact with him since or been his friend for even longer. With that being said, the severity of the abuse that I was published was far worse than anything I heard being discussed. The Google Drive is fucking abhorrent and what he put her through is inexcusable. That's two statements. Now we're going to watch some recording from one of their voice calls where I'm Alex threatens to bash her head in uh, well, head against a wall with a brick if she didn't shut the fuck up. Is it generally because you're just fucking brain dead? Is that why you decided to go on the fucking offensive instead of the, uh, maybe, I don't, know, I don't know what to call what you did. It was weird. It's always weird. You always take the fucking weird route. Just do the normal route, which is just do the normal route, but a normal girlfriend yeah, would do like I didn't, I didn't mean just it. Me, and that's something you really need to fucking fix. I'm gonna fucking bash your fucking head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the fuck up. Alright, so as we just saw, I'm Alex is a literal toddler. Did you see that? You said <laughs> He's literally acting like a toddler against his girlfriend. Well now ex-girlfriend. If you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna bash your head in. I mean, I wouldn't be personally terrified of him because, I mean, he's skinnier than a toothpick. But it's still fucked up that he said these things to his girlfriend at that time. Uh, by the way, I'm Alex would also, like, keep every time she would, like, talk back to him in any way possible. He would literally break up with her. And then, like, 10 minutes later, he'd be like, I'm sorry. Well, no, no, I don't want to break up. I want to break up. I want to break up. Because he knew if any of this shit came out, I'm Alex done. Probably Christian video out. He doesn't know me, but like, you know what I mean? I, I really don't see how anyone can defend this. Like, like you really have to get your camera on to scream at your girl. You're like, oh, let me just make the evidence even more like provable by acting like a fucking toddler on camera. <laughs> I'm gonna bash your head in. <laughs> like, I, like, I can never respect any person who like beats up or like emotionally abuses women. I, I will never respect that. Dude, like joking with them and that shit, like poking fun at them. That's not emotionally abusing them. If you're in a relationship, and you acting like how Alex is acting, for example, I cannot respect that at all. From what we've seen, emotional abuse and abuse is really just a thing on YouTube right now. We saw it in the Wilbersip video, we saw it in the Too Mad video, we saw it in the fucking George Not Found video I made. All these motherfuckers, like, half of these motherfuckers I've talked about in my videos have abused someone in some way. And it, I just, I find it fucking disgusting. It's, it's gross. My last video, the Zerka video, he sexually abused a girl. No harassed actually take that back now we're gonna go to google drive now i'm gonna link this down below because there's 82 pages now we're gonna scroll through this and if i find anything interesting we're gonna read it out and we're gonna fucking criticize him after screaming at me and calls and disregarding everything i have ever said he would explain how it's always my fault and i should apologize that i should fix it and fight for him after he made it worse by completely dehumanizing and degrading me i would get breakup threats because i interact with my followers tweets which i would then apologize for and he made it clear that he was upset but demands more from me this would be followed by him continuing to call me a bitch and threatening i'm going to refollow everyone i unfollow for you if you're going to be like that which by the way i found out later he was still interacting with many people many people who had old relations with and found him stalking his ex with old nudes in his phone what the absolute fuck so that's also just cheating now also just cheating on his girlfriend because from my perspective, that's cheating. If you still have your ex's nudes in your phone, that's cheating. I'm just saying. Liking a girl's pic on Instagram is not cheating. But if you have that shit saved on your phone while being in a relationship, you, my boy, are cheating. Are cheating. But that's not the worst part of the story. I'm gonna read out the screenshot now. I'm done with your stupid ass. It's so fucking weird. That pissed me off. You now mad. That you died for liking that tweet. What the fuck? What's... Yeah, I'm commending you to die. You died for that tweet. You would die. What type of war? Lord ass statement is that that you will die for liking that tweet. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking murder you. No question mark question mark. I won't. That's not it. Haha. -ha. I don't care about that. I apologize for that. I'm going to refollow all people I unfollow for you if you're going to be like that. Okay. You keep calling me shit. I'm done. Go follow them. Bye. How do you not understand? I hate your and how even now you are on purposely being so dense, dude. You're so dumb. Cause I know you know I'm right. All right. You're just going to be difficult. All right. On purpose. Cause that's
that's what you done. I don't know why you make everything so hard. You literally just can't sit there and roll over and start doing this inside. I did. I said sorry. Wasn't that that got us here? That was a huge part of text. Should I read that? I'm going to link all the horrible messages that has been sent to me. They consist of him calling me unlovable, whore, psycho, consistently calls me sick, telling me he doesn't want to be with me, breaks up with me, and then takes it back. Then after all of these arguments, he apologizes and love bombs me for forgiveness because he knows this is, this is not what she's written because he knows if he doesn't, that shit getting on Twitter the next day. For context in regards to me, I have depression. Oh, and he made it severely worse when he would insult me and make me feel like he doesn't care or love me. I found it hard to stay happy every day dating someone who says these things to me so easily, feeling no remorse or guilt. He just flew past days like nothing ever happened. This was immensely draining on my side. I don't know if this is just me, so I've been scared to talk out about this because I'm worried I won't be easily understood, which she was. She was easily, easily understood, which is great. People will question why I even stayed. Believe me, I wish I could turn back time, but I believed in his eyes when he apologized to me, and I really tried to believe he would stop going so far if I asked him to. I thought I was good enough to, for him to stop calling me a whore or tell me to die or threaten to leave me in every argument. Deal with the consequences of being cunt to everyone. What is that about? You're a fucking moron, mate. Can't stay blocked. Thanks. Good night. Now you don't have to leave any calls. Walk off. Passive aggressive ass emoji. Won't ever say I'm sad again. Won't have to. I won't be listening. Yo. Yo. No fucking way. Holy shit. Charger phone. Sorry. Wait. That's off topic. Charger phone, bro. Holy shit. This is like boring the fuck out of me. Yo. This guy's so fucked up. And then they move platform starts talking on discord where he keeps emotionally abusing her and keeps just fucking like look at this boring i quit you win this <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you piece of shit. Oh my god. This is the shit that like boils my blood. And it just keeps going on back and forth. Work-related arguments would be weekly, nearly daily. If I showed signs of me being sad over something, he'd say, you should be fucking grateful that someone with this ex expertise I actually have tried to talk to you about something like that. Yeah, like most of my friends struggle to actually understand what I'm saying. Um, but that's why I'm a professional and you are or not. This was him talking about about whether I wanted to stream or make YouTube videos. If the conversation didn't go his way or I said I didn't want to do a certain thing, he would blow up and get upset because I wouldn't do it his way. Actual toddler. Then continue to belittle me. I would tell him I'm not with him for a work talk. I don't care how much you help me. If all this will do is cause arguments, I don't care how successful I can be. He pushed it onto me when all I want is my boyfriend. Fair enough. He's so easy egotistical that's the thing emotional level of a brick or of a fucking brick just say yes you dumb whore blah, 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 blah. thick man you're a bad boyfriend calling me a bitch and insulting me every time you get slightly upset i haven't made anything up okay you were being a cunt in all caps i'm sorry yes adding two words in yes makes no difference okay n word handshaking emoji that's crazy and logan paul was shit what is he talking about what the fuck is he talking bro he's on some different shit right now i said i wanted to stream on twitch and he gave me reasons why I wouldn't work and reasons not to. I got sad because I was planning so much, set up my channel, went to him, all happy about doing my own thing, and he devalued it, called me small brain. Like, that's so fucked up. Like, unironically, bro. That's your girlfriend, you talking to her like that? Like, this is the most, like, egotistical shit I've ever heard. He was fucking terrified that this shit would come out. So much that when she finally blocked him at some point on messages, he would go on to message her on Instagram, like, trying to talk to her. So she blocked him on Instagram. Then he would go over and TikTok. And then he would make a new account saying, Alice, talk to me. This is a new TikTok account that he just made just so he could talk to her because he was so scared. And when all of his plans finally like didn't work, this man started writing fucking letters. Letters. This man's back in the 19th century with this one. He also started sending stuff with Amazon so we could send small messages. Like this is the most manipulative shit ever. At some point, he got so frustrated at her just acted like a little kid he punched her monitor at this point it was second time he'd hurt me and i was scared so i texted to my friend to pick me up and i started packing he follows me around the house screaming random things at me trying to justify his actions for going too far i recorded this because i was scared he would hit me again oh what i don't understand but your face is annoying to look at, like when I come downstairs. It's why I sleep downstairs, because I don't want to have to come upstairs and oh, you're taking all the covers. It's like fucking woman just like fucking ask me to buy another one or stop fucking complaining. You actually like, you know, clean up after yourself.
I say nothing and I'm panicking to the point where I'm sweating fear as he following me, screaming at me, calling me the n-word and useless etc. After I left, I later picked up my things after he threatened to throw them outside. A 4k plus setup. I found everything on the floor and taken apart. The keyboard was smashed and scattered everywhere. He claimed the keys had fallen off my keyboard when he was packing it all away. When I got home and plugged everything in, I found my monitor screens were both smashed to bits. The keyboard broken and the camera too. So just an actual child. He actually behaves like a child. There's so much more I could talk about, but I really don't want to relive it any longer. This was an awful toxic relationship I should have left just two months ago. In knowing and finding the kind of person he actually is. That's what happens when a narcissist meets an empath. In no way am I trying to make myself look as I never said anything mean. Words held no weight towards the end. Where I stooped down to his level and became reckless with my language. To try to prove a point. This is how you treat me so have it back. Understood he has his own mental health struggles. But I would and will never excuse the amount of trauma he put me through. So I want him uh, all these up before he gets a chance and tries to victimize himself disregarding everything he's done to me if nothing more comes out you won't be seeing nothing in the next screen i've been bobbing a little too much see ya